Hello ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, dogs, and cats, and welcome back to Calm Down Level Up, and today we are back here with the Ottoman Empire. If you remember last episode, we tried to cheekily take over uh, Israel, didn't quite work, but um, we also united the entire Arabian Peninsula, which was pretty fun. We took over um, Bahrain, and Qatar, and Yemen, and all Oman, and the United Arab Emirates, um, and I believe that's all, um, but... I was just, uh, I just recorded that, and now I'm recording this episode, um, and I just was kind of admiring this Romanian invasion of, um, Albania, um, when all of a sudden, actually, Romania declared war on us, so I knew this was gonna happen, and this was eventually coming, um, but I didn't know, you know, when it was quite gonna be here, so... What we're going to be doing here this episode is fighting Romania. Now, Romania, it's, you know, it's it's smaller than us, obviously, but it's a pretty big boy, and it's got some pretty, it's got a pretty big army, so um, we have, we're going to have to be really careful while fighting, and also, you know, our, our whole army is down here in Yemen, so it's basically the entire length of our country away, um, so we're going to need to get our army back up as quickly as possible. Um, also, we have a very strong navy right next to um, Istanbul, so if we lose Istanbul, um, that's going to be very bad. Uh, so we're going to try and not lose Istanbul um, at every cost, basically. Um, if they take Istanbul, um, they'll have a straight shot at Ankara, um, which will be, you know, that will be the end. So we're going to defend Istanbul as hard as we can. Hopefully they can't push through. Um, but we have a huge navy here, or very not very really huge, but very strong. We have a lot of tier three, tier four ships. Um, so what these ships are going to be doing is defending the straits from their invading forces if they decide to come by water. Now they do have a lot of um, units that are actually out and about right now after during the invasion of um, Albania. So we are fairly safe. On that, so on that side, they have a lot of units that are out doing other things. And I'm sure these units right here are going to have to be, um, they're going to have to get back in these, uh, you know, uh, water, per uh, water transportation ships. And they're going to have to come back here. So what we can do is we can leave our, um, our navy right in the middle of these straits. So it's really hard for them to come back and invade us. So we have more navy down here actually, so we can put them down here and try to sink their ships. So we'll set these ships right in the middle of the straits, and these ships are going to be right in the middle of their path. Um, and what, we're else, what else we're, we're going to do is we're going to unentrench all of our units, and we're going to bring them to Istanbul, and we're going to entrench them there, because that is where they will live for the remainder of this war, until we are actually able to move into um, Romania and kill them. They're going to start invading our little tiny piece of um, the Balkans, which is totally fine. Okay, we're, we're sinking their ships before they can get back, which is perfect. Now, th that is an army that we would have adopted, but um, I guess we're sinking it instead. But that's fine as long as it ensures our safety, of course. So we're definitely doing more damage so far, but they haven't really tried to assault us yet. Um, and I think we're, we're lucky. We got quite a few of our units up here before they actually hit us. And it looks like the majority of them starting to get up here all right most of our army is actually ready we have a quite a few tanks um, still moving up but the majority of our army is right here in Istanbul so we're actually going to start moving up um, they haven't started assaulting us yet um, but once they see that we're moving they will start moving so let's get on the road all right perfect we're actually defeating them pretty well here uh, we're going to make sure we need, we're using our air force as much as possible. Now, Burgas is always, um, in a war in this area, Burgas is always a very important town because it um, has um, a barracks, a seaport. It's got everything, so you can repair troops there. You can station them there. It's a very safe place to keep your troops. So they're going to be going back and forth to Burgas until we actually take that town. Um, so we're going to need to make sure to attack it and hit it as much as possible. Okay, we have a town here. Um, let's entrench it. It'll make them harder for it'll make it harder for them to actually kill our units. And we can take some more units here and entrench them in this town up here. Uh, 
we're liberating our territory back from these these communist I don't know if they're they're not actually communists these these fascist bastards we will defeat them in their own heartlands these tanks I just noticed they look like super cool but they're also really bad so I don't know I just wanted to point that out those are some cool tanks all right, Burgas, the battle for Burgas, the first major battle, actually the second major battle, because there, there was a major battle at Istanbul, actually, quite a little while ago. Take Burgas from those Romanian pieces of shit. Oh, Burgas was almost fell. Um, they got more units in it, though. Afghanistan died. Who killed Afghanistan? Uh, looks like northern China could did. Wow, they're really creating a strange shape there. Keep hitting Burgas. We're gonna need our air force to hit it now too, because they're using a moving a lot of units in faster than we can actually kill them. There we go. We have Burgas. Entrench it. We've turned the tide of the war. We have more territory than we've uh, lost now. What are these guys doing? Do they have these guys don't have any supply? I see. So they're not actually trying to take this town. They're just dancing. You know, that's what I do when I don't have supply. I just like to dance. Okay, my main forces are gonna move up here, and my other army is just going to have some skirmishes around this area. Alright, we're going to grab these units back here again, and it looks like we've sort of discerned them from attacking us any further, and we're going to move f down here into Puladiv. I, I don't know. I'm so sorry. I, I'm just really bad at pronouncing European names. Hey, take that. That's our town. Give that back. Some of the bitches. And it looks like we didn't take that military base for some reason. There we go. Alright. Romania is ready to fall. We're going to prep them for it. We're right next to Budacresti. Budacresti. Move in. Come on, guys. We can take their capital. We have so much supply. Let's get our air force out. Hit Budacresti as hard as you can, Air Force. They've came to our land. This was them declaring war on us. This wasn't this wasn't our aggression. Good. They caused this on themselves. Alright. Yay us. Um it looks like uh Kosovo and and Macedonia took some of our Albanian land. Which is not cool. And a lot of these guys took our land. Look, we had we had Montenegro and it looks like the Serbs. Croatia, you know what, these guys have to pay. These Balkanic people, Balkanic? <laughs> these Balkans, these people from the Balkans, I don't know. People from the Balkans, they're going to have to pay for that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to repair all of our units, and then we're going to invade the rest of the Balkans. Oh, it looks like Northern Caucasus is at war with the Ukraine, so what we can we can use this opportunity to actually invade Crimea. Let's do that first. So let's, because we don't want to actually take over the entirety of the Ukraine, we want to just take over like what we want, sort of. Um, so we're going to take over the coast and Crimea here. We actually need stronger troops out there, so we're going to move a little bit more of our army. Odessa's putting up quite a bit of a fight, more than I thought it would. Now we've got to get there before the Northern Caucasians actually move into uh, Crimea before we do. They're very close. We're going to have to murder their army so they don't capture our territory back really fast before we go into Crimea. That's right. Get out of here. All right. Take this stuff. We're going to take just a few of our units, not the entire group of 140. Um, and we're going to sea transport them out here because now we're at a port. Come on. Move in. We need this. This is the territory we want. Come on. Take it. Take it so the Northern Caucus doesn't. Ah, damn it. They took it. It's fine, though. We got a lot of it. And, man, our country's looking good. We have a lot. We have um, 
quite a bit in new territory now that actually Romania didn't even have. We have territory all the way up to Poland now and Belarus. Isn't that crazy? We have like a, about roughly a, a third of what Crimea was. And uh, Northern Caucasus got about two thirds of it. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode of the Ottoman Empire. Hashtag make the Ottomans great again. <laughs> Or whatever you want, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, make sure to leave a like and a favorite and a subscribe if you're new, and a subscribe if you're an old person too. Because you know, doesn't I don't I'm not ageist, so I don't care how old you are if you're watching my uh, channel. Um, I love you all respectfully, um, and I will see you all next time when we move into the rest of the Balkans. Peace.